what happened in Jamestown was three of us, uh, Reverend Williams of the Church of God and uh, Jerry Daniels over at the, at the uh, Manuel Luther Church. We got together and we decided to do something. I was in a heck of a position. My mother-in-law lived with us at that time. She was a good guy. <laughs> and she was in uh, New York City having surgery on her eye. My wife, wife was down there to be at her side. And uh, so I had six kids at home. Uh, we were very busy, my wife and I, in those days. And, uh, and I had those six kids to take care of. I'll tell you who took care of them. Uh, Alice Cavoy's mother, uh, Leah Daniels, that's Reverend Williams, my wife, and uh, Bernie and his wife, uh, Bernie Washington and his wife, they were the babysitters. So those people were willing to stay and take care of my kids while I was gone. And I got uh, Martin Myers over at Tosey Hospital and said, sure, you go ahead, George. And uh, my wife said, okay, and my boss said, okay, so I was ready to go. We, the three of us, Dead Young and, and Joe Hodden that drove us over to Erie. We met with the people from the Baptist Church there. It was the, uh, uh, the Shiloh Baptist Church, that's what it was. And uh, Mc, Reverend McCarthy, McCartney, I think it was, was met the, the pastor. And they had a bus uh, 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 that they had, gone, they were, had uh, arranged for to take their troop down. There was a whole bunch of people in there. There was only I think one other white guy, uh, besides Jared Daniels and me, and uh, there's a couple of uh, newspaper men from the big cities, and a guy from Erie, but the rest of the people were just people from that church over in Erie. And uh, the ride down was, you know, just a lot of talk, the kids were singing, a lot of them were teenagers. But when we got to Birmingham, it was, it was beautiful, and uh, from there on, uh, we could see a lot of the people who were upset. We were, we, in the, we were in the bus and they were using bad fingers to us and stuff like that, but, but uh, uh, we saw no violence at all. We got a hold of uh, some of the newspapers and that was kind of interesting. The newspapers didn't say a word about the people in, coming into uh, Montgomery. Not a word. They were talking about the, the legislature. There's a minister in the legislature who was scolding his fellow uh, ministers for Using strong language and drinking liquor on the on the on the uh, on the streets and whatnot, the same things like that. As a Catholic bishop was given a, a scolding to Martin Luther King, they weren't talking about the people in the who were coming into Montgomery, and the place was loaded. What Wallace had done is he he closed up all the public uh, parking lots. So all the people who were coming in cars, and the marchers weren't the only ones there. There's cars were coming in, airplanes were coming in, buses were coming in, and it was an awful mess. And none of the none of the uh, parking lots were available. And we got there in the evening, just be the evening before the actual move into into Montgomery itself. And uh, it seemed to be the center of the location was a a campus, a college campus. It was the city of St. Jude was a Excuse me, it was a college there in Montgomery. It was a black college, a black hospital, a black children's home. I think the school had seven, I think the story we were told said seven white kids in it, it was full of black kids. And we were uh, taken in there and, and herded around and, and uh, there were some, some Catholic priests and I can remember them distinctly because I, I, I felt some kinship to them because everybody's black, you know. And these Catholic priests were showed us and taught us how to behave. Get down on your hands and knees and cover your faces, have a wet handkerchief with you, all that sort of thing. Protect yourselves from the expected onslaught of, of tear gas and so forth. And, uh, and we, we heard the, the uh, speeches. You have to understand, everybody is any import in the black community, and most a lot of people in the white communities were down here. My gosh, the place was full of, of visiting dignitaries. Uh, uh, you saw some of them in the parade, but uh, Ralph Bunch was there, top man in the, in the black community. He was the head of the UN at that time. And uh, Sammy Davis Jr., I'd seen him in just a couple of weeks before his play in New York. He was there, and there were all sorts of people. And, uh, but they all just said a few words because they all wanted to get in there. Like, they're, they're all celebrities, they wanted to get their faces in. They, they said a few words, but they were all waiting for the final word, and then finally came up. Uh, Martin Luther King came there and 
he had a, still had his rubber boots on, mud splattered. He, he looked the part of a real pilgrim. And he just spoke for a short time and urged that, <coughs> excuse me, that everybody be there. He was hoping that the people in, in uh, Montgomery would join the parade the next day. And uh, they didn't. They, they didn't. It was uh, kind of surprising to us when we were marching with, the, like I uh, said, the SNCC uh, kids watching us. But the uh, local people, uh, they didn't come out on the curbs very much, not very many of them. Uh, it wasn't through uh, disinterest, I'm sure, it was through uh, a fear of retribution. They were been told that uh, if they participate, they'd lose their jobs and all that sort of thing. So, But uh, that with the night we were there, the people in the in that community, that, that was the so-called colored section of Montgomery, they opened their houses and everybody flocked in. And I was there with, with my two friends and, and I shared a bed with a Baptist uh, preacher from Washington. And, and uh, 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 the people just opened their hearts and they fed us and took care of us. And we sat up till two o'clock in the morning talking and got up at seven o'clock in the morning, get ready to march. Marching in, and I talked about it in a little book I wrote, but the, the people who were along the streets, who were brave enough to do it, and they were the old ones. They were the ones that didn't have jobs to do. They, they would come out and, and shake our hands and, and uh, do things like that to let us know that they, we were welcome and we were, they were glad to see us. And, uh, and I, some of those I'd rather not talk about because they were, they were uh, very uh, ennobling moments for me. Uh, but uh, we finally marched into the into the city, and of course, I think you all know that Wallace didn't show up. The plan had been for the announced plan was for uh, King to go up to the door of the Capitol and, and charge uh, Wallace with all the things that we had against him. But Wallace didn't show up, so King uh, arrived there and wasn't anything to do. So everything was anticlimactic at that point, and that was the end of the march. It was to break up. And it was after that that everybody dispersed, and, and there's people going around saying, "Now get on your buses and go, and keep and keep together, and, and don't cause any trouble, etc. and so forth." And, and that's what happened. We finally got on our bus the way we went. The only high mark was in uh, Birmingham. We stopped in Birmingham for a rest stop, and the people in Birmingham, in the in the colored section, uh, uh, opened their heart to us and I never ate so much uh, fried chicken all my life. <laughs> <laughs> but first initiation is salt, I guess. And I, one thing interesting there, I never talked about this before, but it was as a Catholic, it was, it was uh, surprising to me to see this house that we, we one house that we seemed to be in more time more than other houses had religious pictures on the wall and they were all Catholic pictures. Pictures like the St. Teresa and things like that, which I thought was most unusual. Nobody ever explained to me what that was all about, but there must have been more than just Baptists down there. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, it was interesting, and they were all crying and shit, feeding us, and we had a lot of fun for about an hour or so. Get on the bus and make it back to, to Erie, and finally I ended up in Jamestown. And that's all I have to say.